To review our lives last year, we sat right here and wrapped. So let's keep the trend alive 2018 recapped. Now we have one key addition that we think is pretty sweet. We've got ourselves the cutest little baby for our beat. Hit it, Kelly! Just still teaching physics and has started his fifth year with a passion for this science and a love for his career. Keeping students on their toes, he is always innovating. From escape rooms to raps, he makes lessons captivating. He has also had a chance to expand upon his reach. His tweets have gone viral as folks are following this teach. Traveling to Atlanta to present a couple sessions, his blog has started gaining thousands of impressions. Our hometown became crazy when the Super Bowl came round. We could not resist the action, so we tried our luck downtown. The theme was Minnesota, so there was lots of ice and snow. With a free but freezing concert, Funky Town and Let It Go. The winter months were also great as time for getting ready. Dr. Susan up the nursery and painting hand steady. The work all done, we got to sit and relax on our brand new sofa that was great for our backs. With the season soon ending and her due date approaching, Lisa was spending her time on coaching. Her second grade class in their annual dance, wondering if she would be teaching still in May by chance. Callie arrived with tiny head and precious smile. Now these two cassettes were three with a crazy new lifestyle. All were healthy and happy, and after two days, our family came home to start the next phase. Callie's first two months of life here on Earth were jam-packed with adventures to celebrate her birth. Her family came from out of town to see her get baptized. One look at the sweet baby, and all were mesmerized. She was still young enough that bedtime wasn't set. We took our Callie out for every moment we could get. She mostly slept right through all the sports and fireworks. Her headphones kept her safe and avoid the waterworks. We all celebrated love at the weddings of our friends. Callie's heart keeps growing with each one that she attends. She just can't seem to understand why no one at these three came dressed with awesome hats like that wedding on TV. The putzes were keen to have a family vacation, so we packed our daughter up to go halfway across the nation. We met in Colorado where we hiked and swam and rafted, and Joe found a tasty brewery where the drinks were all handcrafted. Callie's patience for long car rides was tested once more when August found us in Lansing, knocking on the door of Great Grandma Lorraine, the proudest of them all, to cuddle and to hold and enjoy this little doll. Sadly, summer ended and we finally got to see how life would change as working parents to becoming three. After much of to-do, Callie finally took the bottle and she too went to school, going full throttle. So again took up running, practicing every day. And Lisa became a freezer meal gourmet. In October, Joe ran the Twin Cities 10 miler. And Callie perfected life as the best hoopless smiler. Our fall continued much the same except one fateful week. With Callie sick and teething, our nights were pretty bleak. But after several doctor visits, lots of yummy meds, our baby had two teeth and a nose rosy and red. Now she's eating solid food and dressing up with friends. Her giggles are contagious and her smile never ends. Watching Callie grow has been the joy that fills our days. And even when it's hard, she finds her way to just amaze. Now that we've come full circle and it's Christmas time once more, our messaging this year is the same one as before. All three of us are blessed by the love that you all share. We wish you joy this season and a year beyond compare. We know 2019 will bring much for us to learn and we'll be sure to fill you in when the Christmas wrap returns. <laughs>